Hello everybody, my name is Ali Mohammadi. Welcome to the Petroleum Engineering Zero to Hero. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the reservoir estimation, reservoir definition, uh, such as the proved, probable, and possible. So let's just dive into the video. Okay, uh, first, this, as you know, it's my name, and uh, this is my Instagram, and this is my LinkedIn. If you're interested, you can uh, visit. Uh, before we start, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will not you, you are sure that you will not miss uh, future videos Okay Reservoir definition. Reserve, what is the reservoir definition and what are the proof probable and possible reserves? Okay, I'm gonna there is a definition the international definition I'm gonna read it for you first that definition Reserve are those quantities of petroleum which are anticipated to be commercially recovered from a known accumulation from a given date forward Okay, pay attention to this one from a given date forward. So it means that something that can be produced in future, not something that you have already produced. Uh, you, I, you will understand it better when we solve some question and examples. Okay, reserves are divided into two groups usually, proved and unproved. And unproved are usually di divided to the probable or possible. I'm gonna talk again with details about this part. Just bear in mind that the proof reservoirs are so developed and undeveloped. As you can see, it's so obvious, developed and undeveloped. And usually, uh, undeveloped reservoirs need so much capital investment, but the uh, developed reservoirs need a little. Reservoir estimation methods are based on the two types, deterministic and probabilistic. If we have a single guess, it's deterministic. If we have a range of guesses, it's probabilistic. Okay. There are three important uh, definitions in this video that is super important. I'm going to read it for you, please uh, pay attention. And then I'm going to talk more in the chart and in the question about this definition. Uh, improved reservoirs, there is a 90% probability that the quantity actually recovered will equal or exceed the estimate. Improbable reserves, if there is a 50% probability that the quantity actually recovered will equal or exceed some of the estimated proved plus probable reserve. Impossible reserve, if there is a 10% probability that the quantity actually recovered will equal or exceed some of the estimated proof plus probable reserve plus possible reserve. Okay, so let's just talk more about this definition. Okay, uh, this, is a, this is a chart and the y-axis is the probability and x-axis is the recovery, rec uh, recovery of the reserve. So let's just back to the definition again, the first one. In proof reserve, there is a 90% probability that the quantity actually recovered will equal or exceed the estimate. Okay, this is a 90% and P90. So at P90, we have a 90% probability and in proof reserve. So this shows us that uh, if we have a 90% probability or higher, the amount that recovered will be really proven. So in this case, from 0 to P90, I mean here, Oh, sorry. From zero to P90, around here is a, a proved reserve. So, what is the probable reserve? Probable reserve is uh, if there is a 50% probability that the quantity actually recovered will equal or exceed the sum of the estimated proof plus probable. Okay, we already know that that this one proved. So, what is the probable? Probable would be from the P90 to, to P50 because 50% probability P50. And we said that in, at this point, we have a sum of the proved and proven. So we already know this one, this one is proved, so this one is probable. So the from P90 to P50 is going to be a probable reserve. Okay. Uh, okay, the third definition. In the possible reserve, if there is a 10% probability that the quantity actually recovered will equal or exceed the sum of the estimated proof plus probable plus possible. Okay, we already know this one is proved, and also this one is pro uh, probable, and we know that this one is the sum of the proof, probable, and possible. So as a result, this one would be possible reserve. So from P50 to P10 is going to be possible reserve. So to recap. P0 to P90 from here to here is proved. This one is probable and this one is possible. 
P90 has another name. We call it, we can call it P1 because it already have proof reservoirs. P50 we can call it P2 because it's some of the proved plus probable, and P10 is uh, P3 because it's some of the proof plus probable plus possible rather. Okay, uh, let's just solve some question and example, and you will understand it better. There are 950 million stock down barrels of oil initially in place in a reservoir. It is estimated that 500 million stock down can be produced. Already 100 million stock down barrel can have been produced. So what is a stock down oil initially in place and what are the reserves? Okay, you may think about it. You may pause the video if you want and now think about it. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. For the stock tan uh, oil initially in place, the answer is 950 million stock tan barrel. Why? It's just so obvious in the question they already said. There are 950 million stock tan barrel of oil initially in place. So it just stated in the question is super easy. But the important part is what are the reserves? It is estimated that 500 million stock tan barrel can be put out. So why the answer is not 500? As we already mentioned, we just uh, I, I'm going I'm going to say it again in this slide. Uh, the definition of reserve is something that from a given date forward, something that can be produced in future. Okay, but here in this question, we already produce 100 million stock time barrels, so it it cannot con be considered as a reserve. Hmm? Already produced, so the reserve going to be 500 minus 100 is going to be 400 million stock time barrel. Okay, next question. Before a starting uh, production, it was estimated that there were 90% chance of the producing at least 100 million stock tan barrel, 50% chance of the producing 500 million stock tan barrel, and 10% the chance of the producing 700 million stock tan barrel. That is, we are sure we can produce at least 100 million stock tan barrel, and we will probably produce as much as 500 million stock tan barrel, and we will possibly produce as much as 700 million stock tan barrel. So what are the proof, probable, and possible reserves? Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. The proof reservoir is 100. Why? Look at the question. 90% of chance of the producing at least 100 million stock time barrel. So if you go to this uh, chart again, here, uh, at 90%, is 100 million stock time barrel. So P90 is 100 million. And we know that the proven reservoir is from zero to P90. So the proved reservoir is 100 million stock time barrel. So how are the probable reserves? Hmm? Uh, look at the question. 50% chance of the producing 500 million stock time barrel. So if we go to the chart again, here. At the 50% probability, is going to be 500. We already know that we have produced 100. So from P90 to P50, probably would be 500 minus 100, which is 400. So here is 400, this one is 100. And the last part, possible reserve. What are the possible reserve? Look at the question. 10% of the chance of producing 700 million stock time barrel. Okay, at 10%, we have P10 is 700. And we know this part is possible here, from P50 to P10. This one is possible. We already know that this one is 100, this one is 400. So 700 minus 100 minus 400 equals to 200. So the possible reserve are 200. Hmm? Okay, next question. Uh, tell me what is wrong with this uh, uh, with following definition. Reserves are do those quantities of petroleum which are anticipated to be recovered from a petroleum accumulation. Okay, I may give you the answer. It's, in, it's, it's true until the petroleum, but we have to add this sentence. It's super important. From a given date forward, reserve refer to what can be produced in future. So when you d define the reserve, the definition of the reserve, you have to mention something that can something that can be produced in future. 
from a given date forward is so important because we don't really care about the something that we has already produced if something has already produced it cannot be considered as a, a reserve reserve is something is only something that can be produced in future it's super important okay next example we have a structure in our license area which we intend to explore we anticipate it to contain a stock tan original oil initially in place of the 2000 million stock tan barrel and recovery factor of the 65 percent using primary methods uh, 30 percent secondary 25 percent and tertiary 10 percent what are the reserves okay i may give you the answer the answer is 1300 okay uh, the definition of the reserve tells us that the, the, the something that anticipated to be commercially recoverable. So we said that recovery factor. So it's something that we know that commercially can be recoverable, recoverable is 65%. So we simply just uh, multiply 2000 by six, 0 0.65 and the answer would be 1300. Okay, next question. Uh, a reservoir has been discovered by drilling a successful exploration well and drilling a number of producing well. We have even produced some 200 million stock tan barrels of the oil. Uh, the stock uh, tan oil initially in place is 2000 and recovery factor is 35%. What are the reserves? Okay, I'm, I may I give you the answer. The reserves are, uh, are 500. Why? Okay. Whenever they give you the recovery factor, just consider it, consider it as an ultimate recovery factor. So 35% is like 35% of the whole reservoirs. In, from the beginning until the end, 35% uh, can be produced. So let's see how much can be produced from beginning to end. 2000 multiplies by uh, time is 0 0.35. But as you know that in the question, we said that we have already produced 200 million stock time barrel of oil. We know that something that has been produced can cannot be considered as a reserve, so it's already produced. So from this amount that can be produced from beginning to the end, uh, we should uh, subtract this amount to uh, from 200. So this value minus 200 is equals 500, because we cannot consider 200. It's, it has already produced. Reserve again is something that can be produced in the future. Not uh, if you have already produced, it cannot be counted. So. Uh, the answer would be 500 uh, in this uh, in this example. Okay, uh, I hope you like this uh, video. Uh, this is the end of this video. In this video, we talk about the um, reservoir definition. We talk about proof, uh, probable and possible reserve, the, their differences, and the important thing that again I will tell you: remember that the reserves are amount that anticipated to be commercially recoverable from a given date forward something that can be produced in the future. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please share it with the people who might find it useful. And please uh, comment below and let me know what you think about this video, anything. I, would, I really want to know that what you think about this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you next video.